Jason Harris here with Sean Fowler. Sean, the Falcons always have an outstanding offense. We, we can't take that away from them. But on the defensive side of the ball, usually they're suspect. Do you feel like with the additions that they've made in free agency and what they did in the draft, do you think this will be a top 10 defense going into 2020? Well, it needs to be a top 10 defense, you know what? Because yeah. Dan Quinn, we said previous times, is he on a hot seat? The, the, the seat is burning now. It's not hot no more. It's burning. So, the, and that's especially his defense. So, I think with the addition of getting AJ Terrell, that's why they got him in the first round. Um, you know, AJ Terrell is supposed to be that number one guy. He seemed as we should probably end up going to the Detroit Lions. So, they're, they're looking for him, even though he's going to be, you know, he's a rookie. He's going to be tested. They're going to throw him in the fire, but he should be covering the top guys. And he had a solid career at Clemson. So, Besides A.J. Terrell, you know, they have Isaiah Oliver, the other the other cornerback as well. Deion Jones is still there, a pro bowler. Keanu Neal, can he stay healthy? Desmond KZ, uh, excuse me if I said his name wrong, um, but, you know, uh, Grady Jarrett. So they have a good personnel on defense. Will it be top 10? I think it's to be determined and see if we even have a season. But let's say we do. I think, I, I'll say this, I think they could be 12, 13. I don't think it'll be top 10, but I think it'll be respectable enough. The second was in the Super Bowl year when yeah. they got hot towards the end of the season. I'm not saying the Falcons will make the Super Bowl. I'm not saying, they, even though I am a Falcons fan, but I think it's going to be a, a bend but don't break defense. Not a terrible defense, but not necessarily top 10. I think you got other teams out there that's going to be level. And Sean, I'm glad you said that because to me, if the Falcons, if Todd Gurley stays healthy, I'm going to talk about a little bit of offense. Yeah. If he stays healthy, and let's say they're a top five offense, top three offense, Falcons don't need a top 10 offense. I know that was the question. That's what the producer put in the script. But they need, yeah, defense. They need a top 12, top 13. I need to see that sack number go up. Dante Fowler's been doing a lot Dante of talking Fowler's in the media. Yeah. He's been talking a lot in the media, getting that big contract with the Falcons. I need him to get at least 12 sacks. He's talking about, oh, I'm going to go up to Michael Strahan's record. He's talking about that great hope stuff. I need him to deliver on that. Grady Jarrett, we know what he could bring. Tack McKinley, I don't know about him. He's hot, he's cold, he's hot, he's cold. I need to be hot. So this defensive line needs to get sacks. Now the linebacker position, Deion Jones, I'm expecting a lot from Deion Jones. Definitely. I think Deion Jones is the strong point of that linebacker for. I don't think much of the other linebackers, because remember Campbell, he left. They didn't re-sign him, and he, he was a stud. But when you got a guy like Deion Jones, athletic, a guy who could cover, I think that's going to help the Falcons out. And they made some moves, getting Luke Cannon from the Giants, uh, bringing him in, he's going to help with that coverage. I think that nickel, that big nickel, he's really going to help them out. Now, to the secondary, Oliver, that's going to be a key because yeah. I don't believe he's a one, especially not definitely, in the first year. Definitely. And I think they need to get yeah. another cornerback. They need to get AJ another cornerback. You don't think he's a one yet? So. Yes. Okay. Ol Oliver, I don't think he's a one. Yeah. They want him to be a one, but he's not a one. He's, he, he's a maybe one. a two. Hopefully he can play really well. Yeah. And A.J. Terrell, I don't think he's as bad as what people say he is. I don't think it was out of this world for him to get drafted that high. He was exposed against LSU, but a lot of cornerbacks were. I will say this. I think he'll have a solid rookie year, but the secondary is a concern for the Falcons. Keanu Neal. Will Keanu Neal be healthy? Can he yeah. stay healthy? Yeah. Well, Keanu Neal is healthy. He's a baller. We're going to do a film study on him. But he can straight out ball, so I want to see his health. KZ, you brought him up. Will he be able to get those interceptions? Will this Falcons defense as a whole, Sean, be able to create turnovers? If they can create turnovers, then they can give up a lot of yards. But if they can't create turnovers, they can't get sacks, it's going to be a long season. Matt Ryan, he's been talking heavy, too. A lot of confidence talking about he's the best quarterback in the division. And, yes, if he is, that matters. But the defense is going to have to show up to stop and get after the pressure of Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and Teddy Bridgewater. That And the Falcons defense shows up top 12, top 13, kind of like what you said. Then this team will get far in the playoffs. Definitely. And last thing just to add, Jansen, uh, you mentioned turnovers. That's the yeah. biggest thing for the Falcons. They don't really get a lot of turnovers. And when they do get turnovers, then we see more wins for the Falcons. When they won that 6-2 run, uh, second, for the second half of the season, they were getting more turnovers. You saw, you know, more plays from Deion Jones and these guys. These guys turn the ball over, getting getting interceptions. So I think that's going to be that's going to be the key for them to be a good defense. Absolutely. And Sean, again, I'm glad you brought that up. Top 12, top 13 defense. That that's what the Falcons need. Top 10, not necessarily. They don't have to be the best defense in the league. But if this Falcons offense is as good as we both think, we think Matt Ryan can still produce great season, and we think Todd Gurley comes in and he can stay healthy. That offense will create opportunities for the defense and yeah. vice versa if they get the turnovers. Yeah. So we'll see what the Falcons to do, can do. I'm Jansen Harris here with Sean Fowler. Like, comment, subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Let us know below. What do you guys want us to talk about pertaining to the NFL, NBA, whatever sports you want to hear? Let us know, and we'll talk about it. I'm Jansen Harris with Sean Fowler. Go follow us on Twitter as well, too. Go follow us on Instagram, too. And like, comment, subscribe, like I said before. Jansen Harris here with Sean Fowler.